Hello, welcome to Cool Discussions. Today we're going to be talking about, um, well, we're going to talk about marching. Not marching bands, not marching in the army, but the marching that has been taking place around the world since Trump was inaugurated as President of the United States of America. Um, on Saturday, this past, not this past week, but the week back, there was... The 21st, the day after yes, inauguration. There was... Um, the Women's March. The Women's March, and it took place not only in the United States, and it was all over the world. There was even some here in Calgary. Uh, uh, Calgary there was Edmonton, Europe. Vancouver, uh, London, yep. Berlin. And uh, these, these people were mar- marching... Um, to protest, um, pretty much to protest Donald Trump, yeah. to protest um, the uh, things that were brought were the wage gap. No, kind of. Um, how think, they they feel that Trump is going to take away their right rights to their body, and, and he kind of has. He uh, Trump has t- taken away funding for abortion overseas. Uh, he hasn't taken it away. He just limited it. He, he just took away back. funding. I thought he. I heard that he just cut back funding for it. Yeah, because so I think the sense of America first as like why are we funding abortion overseas makes sense. Imagine being told you have to pay for your neighbor's penicillin for chlamydia. How would you feel about that? My neighbors. Yeah. Mm. How would you feel about that or your whatever? I, I can understand for I have to pay for my for somebody's chlamydia. Thing in Asia, it's like, well, why isn't the Asian government doing this? I don't understand, but but that's like the same like thing. Imagine having to pay for somebody's outside of your house, right? I always when I when I look at big issues, I always try to shrink them into smaller issues. Oh, okay, okay, okay. When you're putting it into an, an like, I'm tr- yeah, I'm trying yeah, to I'm trying to, to to make make people because a lot of people put emotion behind that, mm-hmm. right? So I try to look put into a situation where there's not um, there's it's like emotionless, right? Yeah. So when you look at your house, you go, okay, well, you're thinking of yourself first. So you got to look at this grander things of that as well. Um, now, um, everybody hates Trump. Not everybody, but a lot of people. A lot of people. Um, I I don't necessarily I don't agree with some of the things, but I don't hate him. Yeah. Um, I I think that if he wants like he wants to defund Planned Parenthood in the United States. Which, uh, okay, I don't agree with that. I don't I think agree Planned with Planned that. Parenthood What's is actually really good. Um, I don't know why this huge hate on for Planned Parenthood. I don't. Know. I, I don't understand it. I don't. At I think. I, th- I think he's coming from the the, the abortion side of it where he wants to defund it because he doesn't want federal money going to abortions when they're they're there for a lot obviously they do perform abortions mm-hmm. um, but they're there for a lot more than just that it's not just that that they're going that they're doing they're they're helping people with contraceptive STDs um, uh, I, I believe they do like maternity care too don't they I yeah. think oh, I'm not no, 100% no. Okay. sure but uh, the, the, okay in general w- why you're taking funding away from planned parenthood pl- planned parenthood I I don't get if you want to say you guys aren't allowed to do this maybe you should specifically state you guys aren't allowed to use this money at all for abortion in which case they could go okay we'll use the money for something else and then which I think I think is I do think. do the, the the three cup thing you know move the ball around yeah even though it, the money isn't for abortion, yeah. you're still paying for abortion. Yeah. I'm sure you could you could do it theoretically. Oh, switch the cups around, yeah. right? You know, I I, I do. I, I I'm glad that they did it. I'm glad that they marched. I'm glad that they kind of have their voice heard. I'm glad that it's being talked about. It was on CNN all fucking. Day. Honestly, I didn't pay attention. The well, only reason why I pay attention was because you wanted to talk if, about it. If you had, if you like, turn on the news, that's all they were talking about for yeah, a while. Yeah, it's true. They were. Um, I think it's great. It's peaceful as long as you're peaceful. There were some demonstrations and stuff like that, but that were violent. And as soon as you go to violence and property damage, you just your point is mute. You're uh, an idiot. I don't think you're there was not any, in that. But there the were, women's march. No, there wasn't. No there wasn't. There was. Uh, they were all very peaceful. I, what I saw, there was no arrests. Which in the inauguration there was uh, like two hundred. There's a lot of arrests. arrests. People were being there destroying was, property. People were cars being destroyed. Yeah. There was a, a picture of a little lit on fire Silly. with "We Are the People," and I was like, "No." I can get what they're standing up for. I, I agree with the whole like right to your own body thing. I get that. Yeah, and I can see that. Yep. and I'm I'm okay with that. Don't don't touch that shit. Don't don't try and tell any human. This is the only. That's the only issue I take with that. Is that you're talking about women? I think you should take any human and put like 
there's feminists. Uh, I don't call myself a feminist. Nope. I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I, I, I don't even know if it's a word, but I'm a humanist because I think that all rights should be uh, anointed to all humans, not just not just women, men, blacks, whites, Jews, Catholics, any, you know, whatever. It should just be, you're a human, you have these basic rights. You have, yeah. Okay. You have the right to decide what you put in your body and how you use your body. As long as you're doing... Now, this is where the gray area, in my mind, I, I kind of argue with myself a little bit because I believe that you should be able to put and do as your body as you please as long as you do no harm to another person. Mm-hmm. Now, somebody could argue, well, in an abortion, you're doing harm to another person. Okay, I, I haven't found an argument to that yet. <laughs> I haven't found a counterpoint to that yet. That you're doing harm to another person? Yeah, because in, in a sense, fetuses can be considered humans. At what point do you consider a fetus a human? I think... My my thing is this: if is if, um, if you choose to abort your child, then that's your choice. You have uh, to live with it. You have to. Okay, no, no, no. See, the counterpoint is ad- you can give it up for adoption. But then the counterpoint to that is the system. Look how many people are put up for adoption, don't get adopted, and no, end up but criminal or in bad situations and stuff like that. At that point in time, you could just argue against people having sex. Well, it, it's it's kind of a continuous argument. With that. It, it, it is unfortunately one of those continuous arguments. What I heard is he defunded um, anything that does abortions in third trimesters. The, no, I agree with that completely. If you're now, aborting a child in the third year, I, wow. I, I okay, I, I, th- I in the third trimester. Uh, yeah, I think it's it, weird. It, it, it's, it, oh, that would that, be weird. To so do long. That. I personally think the first trimester abortions should be allowed. After that, no. Yeah, I think then you're Done. getting into, uh, you know, obviously there's a whole bunch of, like... That, that, okay, this is where the... Okay, in Canada, we don't have this abortion talk. It's been it's legalized. Like taboo. It, 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 no, no, but that's the thing. In uh, in Canada, abortion's been legal for, yeah, you're like, allowed to 10 do years. Yeah. Boom. Done. They don't open the issue because they don't want yeah, they that don't can want of that. worms. Yeah. In it's America, they've worms. been... It is. In America, they've been arguing for it for so long, and it's just like, you know what, you should just go and be done with it. If... I, I, I know this is one of those things of where... This is this is how I would be. If, if I was a doctor, okay? If, if Okay, uh, uh, me personally, I'm okay with abo- I'm okay with it. Your body, you choose what to do with it. Okay? You know, that that's my thought. Um, now, if I'm a doctor, I morally could not perform an abortion after a certain amount of time. I morally couldn't. I would not feel right because it would be just weird to me. Like maybe I'm a hypocrite. Fine. But that that's my stance. It's your body. You do what you please. Okay? I'm the same way with drugs, alcohol, um, sexuality. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm the same on all those. It's your body. You love who you want to love. You have sex with who you want to have sex with. As long as it's consenting. Mm. Then I'm fine with that. You know, I'm okay with gay people. <laughs> He's not okay with gay people. <laughs> okay, I don't have a problem with uh, consenting adults. It's in Canada, um, they they lowered the age for anal sex to like 16. And they're not adults. Well, see, that's the thing. This That's, that's the thing I, of age of consent, adults. So I, I'm 17 on May 29th. I'm 18 the next day, May 30th. Yeah. I'm, am I more, more mature because I'm one day older? No. Okay. No. Uh, okay. Yes, that that's part of the argument there. Um, I'm, it, it, it's a gray area, I agree, but it's just like, you know, 16, too young, 18 I think, is okay. But I don't, yes, I don't, age is an arbitrary number. Yeah, I don't think it, I be, I, it. I think it comes to maturity. But, I think okay, it comes to... When was the last time you heard somebody being arrested for anal sex both. under the age of... 18. Who knows? That's the thing. We don't, I don't hear I, about it. I didn't now, even know it was illegal. There, you m- I didn't even know it was illegal. Like, it, it, and that's the thing is like, when was the last time you actually heard somebody being arrested for anal and sex? This is, it's this- been so long since it's happened. It shouldn't be a problem. It's one of those things of okay. But 18, this is this is my yes, thing. This under is, eighteen, no. But just don't arrest people. This is my thing. This is my thing. This is where it comes to. Well, you have a child, you have to educate your child. As a, you, This is your job as a parent, and this is where we're failing as a society. Mm-hmm. Now, there's a whole bunch of contributing factors to that, obviously, but um, I think this is where we're failing as a society, is that we're not being parents. Mm-hmm. Number one, we're too busy f- trying to survive to be parents. Um, we want... 
people want the government to be parents to their children and to their to people. And this is where the problem is, is that I think you need to educate your your, your, your child on the, the the consequences of sex, the consequences of this, the consequences of that. Um, we're digressing off of our main topic, but we it's, did. it's still uh, it's still a little bit relevant. That. It's yeah. still a little bit relevant. Because that's what the woman's partner was talking about. Yeah. Is, you know, the right to the, themselves and to their body. And what so then if you have a right body, to your body, you need to educate yourself on your own body as well. Well, and, it's and a need, personal responsibility. Yes. It's not a, oh, I have a child, I need the government to yeah. take care of no, me. No, like, no, no, no. You have a child, you need to take care of that child now. You chose to keep yeah, a child. You, you chose, chose to, have, to sex. have sex. That's the thing. Is you know, it's. I know in the the states, it's that sense of uh, the religious right going. Oh, you know, you shouldn't have sex. It's like, well, hmm. people are going to have sex. It doesn't matter. People are going to have sex. You should treat. Uh, uh, you should. Um, there goes his thought. Did you see it? Did you see it? Did you see it? I do rewind the film. Rewind the film. Did we see it? Leave the head? Did you see the thought? Just leave the mind. Wow. Wow. I think I may have seen it. Oh my gosh, that's horrible. Um, <laughs> I hate it when that happens. When you're talking, you're like, "Fuck, where did my thought go?" Yeah, it just went. It just went. So you know, and they were also marched like a big thing they were talking about was the wage gap in, in business. Now, well, that's the thing. I didn't hear anything about it. I might heard a little bit about it. I heard a little bit about I, that, I heard that, that, that the quality was, of pay and stuff like that. There's supposed to be equality, etc. I heard um one one of the things I was reading about about the march was, you know, they had those posters about the um minority people in draped in the flag so they had the uh, um, Hispanic the Muslim the uh, the black person and they were all had uh, different American flag aspects on them uh-huh. and I was thinking uh, somebody wrote and I read it and it was like they have a point why why are you saying that the hijab is a good thing because the hijab honestly in my opinion represents oppression of women because the hijab oh, yeah, 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 yeah. right because why are you not on the the steps of the saudi yeah embassies why are protesting you pro- against them protesting against and how their treatment of women in the middle east yeah, yeah. so Makes, i'm yeah. sorry in western culture women have it pretty a little, little bit of privilege yeah almost. they they have that sense of privilege it's like so why are you marching for this but when, not for that yeah you know that why is the question that two White males are asking. Oh uh, well, well I, mean, I, I think that might be the strawman argument for white male is throwing that out there, going, "Well, you know, why aren't you, if you're marching against this against Trump in D.C., why aren't you marching against because uh, it's because it doesn't affect them? Yeah, that's why. I I agree that that people protest only things that people want. I've said it before. People want equality until it negatively affects them. Uh. And uh, unfortunately, as a male, that's what you will find is that uh, women want equality uh, until they have to do the shit work, until they have to do crap work. But that's not just women. That's everybody. No, but... Everybody it, wants equal this until they have to actually get in, the, you know what I mean, get in the trenches and do the hard shit. Their hands dirty. And, and this, is, this is how I look at it. You know, when, when you talk about the wage gap, how there's a wage gap between men and women, right? I... We know. we did talk I, about it I in detail know. last week. I don't know if it's a hundred percent true, um, but um, my thought is this: I'll use Hollywood as as an example. There's been evidence of women being paid less than men for for roles, the right? same types of roles. Okay, this I is agree. this is my this is my thought. Okay, I'm a movie maker. I go to actor A and I say, Hey, I'm going to pay you ten dollars to do this role. Okay, no problems. I go to actor B. And I say, I'm going to pay you $8 to do this role. You go, okay. And then later you find out, oh, he paid this person $10. He paid me 8 That's not fair. I want $10. And I go, but you agreed to it. You said, I'm going to work for 8 You You agreed? Why didn't you go, no, I want 10 at, at contract signing. You just found out after that you were paid differently. To me, it's just business. You can't, you can't, how is the government going to change that? If the government goes, you have to pay CEOs of companies the same amount of money. Okay, well, I'm going to hire you at CEO. Now I'm going to hire you at junior CEO for a different rate. Now it's a different job title. 
Now it's a different job. Well... You could just change the job title, mm-hmm. and it would be a different job. Now you're not paying the same... Now it's not the same job anymore. Well, so I just true. It's it, uh, so. Are you are you mad at the government or should you be mad at business? Should you be mad at corporations for not paying the same amount? Uh, corporations, really. You know what I mean. Like, then stop, stop working. Be like, I'm not going to work for somebody that I that you know has been doing this. It's like it's like the child labor. If company X uses child labor and you know about it and you still buy from them. What are you doing? Yeah. You're complaining about it, but still using it. It's like, I play poker on a site called PokerStars. And I've heard people call them out on the way that they've changed. They've changed some systems. They've changed some, like, programs, like um, like reward programs. They've changed it, right? Yep. And people are mad about it. The top end people are mad about it. The, 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 the higher earners are mad about it because it takes away from them to distribute, to bring in new customers, to, to do, do promotions to bring in new customers, which business is supposed to do. And then... So they had this one team pro. He quit. Okay. All right. Oh, oh, but guess what? He still plays poker on the site. Wow. Wow. Way to stand up for your rights. Way to stand up for it, buddy. Good job. <laughs> the hypocrisy. Ah, uh, Okay. I just... I, I think that's kind of what... The, the the march boils down to is like yes you need to march to show your solidarity, solidarity yeah but know, there's yeah. that sense of hypocrisy because it's like well it, you have things really well and it's like all the all the famous people standing up on the stage going rah, 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 and I'm like yeah you want to talk about privilege you're looking at it Madonna Ashley Judd Scarlett um, Johansson yeah. Is that not what privilege is? I'm, I'm just I'm, maybe I'm naive. Maybe I don't know. But is I that not, think that kind of is a sense of privilege. Isn't that it's the like embodiment this. of it? Um, I do think that. Okay, don't don't take me saying this stuff as 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 being against what they're marching for. I agree with them. Uh, I would probably if my wife would. I would go out there and be like, "Yeah, why am I here? Uh, because I believe that every human has the right for equality. Mm-hmm. Every has the right to their body." Yeah, even every as, human has the right uh, to say no to a job. As a religious person, I still have to say that in the grand scheme of things, a woman, if she, this is what she wants to do, we as religious people have to go. Yes, you're allowed to. If you need to talk, I'm here. Yeah, that I'm that that that's my opinion as. That's, that's I a, personally that's think, a good religious person because I he can put his views aside and you can put your views aside and go you know what yes. I don't agree with it but I I no, respect no. your ability to do what you want that's what it is is I don't necessarily agree but I'll still support you and I think that's, that's what what it comes down that's to. what more people need to learn how to do is you know what I don't agree with you but I understand I you know I I, I, support, I support you and I understand I'll be what you're saying because I know you need somebody to talk to yeah. I'm not going to hate you. I don't have to agree with you. I'm glad that they got their voices out there. I glad, I'm glad that they, it was a big deal. I and, and now it's uh, like okay. Personally, when I went at the start of this, when I went into it, I was like, "Great, they're marching, whoop to do." But in the, in the grand at, after the end reading stuff, I went, "Okay, yes, they need to march because they need their voices to be heard." And I understand this. I don't necessarily agree with it, and I think even Trump said the same thing. He twittered. Oh, why are they marching? And then later on he said, yes, I agree, marching is an important part of democracy and this is what they have to do. Maybe somebody else took his Twitter account and Mm, did the second part because the first tweet was Trump all the way. The second tweet wasn't necessarily Trump, but he did tweet it. So, like I said, it's good. I I, I, I do do agree with... um, I don't... I, I've said this, you know, he, he wrote this executive order about the abortion thing or the defunding of it or the cutting off funding for international. And I go, well, why wouldn't he just write it all in the same order and be like, we're defunding it here too. So my, my I, 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 I wonder, will he actually follow through with the defunding of Planned Parenthood in the United uh, States? I, I hope not. I think Planned Parenthood is a, a, a great thing, personally. Regardless of everything that they do, I don't agree with. But 
as a whole, Planned Parenthood, they should keep it. They shouldn't get rid of it. It it, it doesn't start with Planned Parenthood, though. It starts with education of your child. Yeah. Let's not be taboo about this subject. It's like Let's you don't think your child's yeah. going to have sex. <laughs> Hey, you're fucked. They're probably already doing it. <laughs> Unless you have really little, but they're doing it younger and younger. Now, yeah. From what I understand. I honestly, know. teach them. Show yeah, them how to be educate, safe. Yeah. Because it's it's better to be prepared. So I don't think... Motto, be prepared. prepared. That's right. That's right. You're not going to go camping without a tent. <laughs> right? <laughs> yes. That's right. You're not going to go camping <laughs> without a tent. Show them how to set up that tent. That's right. All right, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, <laughs> share, all that uh, stuff, guys. Join us for all kinds of fun, wonderful things. That's right. All right, yeah. guys. See ya. Later.